Hello, welcome back to the desk corner and welcome to a new video. Today's video is kind of well suited for the month of February. I'm going to be painting slash drawing, I don't know what you would call it because I'm using watercolor pencils. So I'm going to be painting slash drawing this beautiful pink lotus sitting on top of some lily pads. Guys, one of my New Year's resolutions for 2021 was to bring out some of the supplies I abandoned in 2020 and didn't really use at all. Um, and one of those supplies are actually my watercolor pencils. I got myself this really pretty pencil pouch, this beautiful, just like floral, kind of 1970s looking pouch. And it actually fits all of my watercolor pencils. And there they are, they all fit, all 60 of them, I think. These are the Faber-Castell watercolor pencils. I've just taken them all out so I can pick my colors. And I was thinking about when the last time was that I used watercolor pencils. And I think the last piece I created might have been in the summer of 2019. Wow, that's bad. Wow, that's a really long time ago. I thought it would be fun for me to talk to you guys about watercolor pencils and my thoughts on them, especially since I'm gonna be so rusty with them. It's almost like using a new medium again since I haven't used them in almost two years. So if you're curious about watercolor pencils and you want to see how this Lotus turns out, then all you have to do is keep on watching. I've got my paper taped down. Since I'm not going to do any kind of background wash or anything, I've just taped down um, this part right here and not the entire thing because I'm not going to actually need borders really. And as many of you who use pencils know, the coloring part is probably going to take a long time, so I'm just gonna jump right into it. So let's have a little artist chat, shall we? So I do get questions sometimes about watercolor pencil and I have truly been meaning to pull them out for a while now, but I think what happens sometimes is we as artists accumulate supplies over time and then what happens is we forget about a certain supply or set or medium for a while and the longer you go without using something, I think the less likely it is that you're going to just pull them out and decide to use them again. So I went over a year really without using these and I just, even though I would remember in the back of my head that I should use them, I just never really got around to actually doing it until the end of 2020 when I decided to put in my little New Year's goals list to actually use some of my supplies, which I think is a pretty good goal. Um, it doesn't involve me buying more supplies, which of course I probably will fall into the trap of buying more supplies, as some of you might have seen in my latest art supply haul video and with my birthday coming up and all. But I do wanna make it a point to use a lot of the supplies that I already have as well. And especially when we're talking about a totally different medium like watercolor pencil that I haven't used in so long, it would be good practice for me to actually create a few pieces with watercolor pencil this year and not just leave them sitting there in their sad little tin. The funny thing is I was more inspired to use my watercolor pencils after I bought that pencil pouch, which is so funny, but sometimes it's the little things like finding a new organizational method or a new area to store your supplies that inspires you to use them for some odd, odd reason. I didn't even buy that pouch with the intention of using them with my watercolor pencils. I wouldn't have dreamed that they would have all fit in there. But anyway, that's the grand, very interesting story about how I came to use watercolor pencils again. I'm sure that all of you are very moved by this powerful story. In the past, I have gotten some requests to make videos about watercolor pencils, and I think I will practice a little more with them before I do any kind of review or even tutorial style video since it's been a while since I've used them. I don't want to jump in with something like that right away, so this is definitely a more laid back Kind of video but i will tell you the technique i'm using here so since it is a botanical piece and this lotus is full of petals i think that when you're working with botanical art you're using the same technique over and over again for slightly different shaped petals and slight differences uh, between them but at the end of the day you're still using the same technique which is why i feel that it can be something that's very relaxing to draw and paint so what i did here was pretty much what i do with normal colored pencils except i left a lot more kind of white space for highlighted areas because I remember when I first started with watercolor pencil, I made the mistake of not leaving enough white areas and therefore not having enough highlight. So my contrast was not very good. And as you know, with watercolor, you can't really fix your mistakes the same way you can with something like acrylic paint. So once the highlights are gone, they're pretty much gone, um, especially the subtle highlights that you can't really um, use some kind of white gouache or gel pen or something 
um, to create because it's more of a subtle highlight. So I definitely recommend if you're using watercolor pencil, leave a bit more space that's white or highlighted than you think necessary, and you can always build up that color in additional layers. Um, I think for this I used two layers. So the first layer was just the basic lay down foundation of this painting slash drawing. I'm just going to call it a painting, but this painting. And then the second layer was just some touch ups and I definitely needed to sharpen up some of that contrast and some of those details. Um, and I actually off camera, sadly, because it was dark outside and I didn't want to have bad lighting in this video, but I did use my black polychromos pencil to create a little bit more depth in the very, very end. I usually prefer to use colored pencils if I'm going to add really fine details at the end like I did in this painting. I ended up just using my black polychromos pencil because it's already sharpened to a fine point and I typically don't leave my watercolor pencils sharpened to a super fine point all the time. And the consistency of them is a little bit different too, of course, because obviously they're not made the same way that a normal colored pencil is made. So for the very fine details in the end, the polychromos pencils complement this set very nicely, not to mention that they're also color matched as well, which is a good benefit. I will have to say though, I never enjoyed using watercolor pencil back when the only um, pencils I had tried were the student quality or the Prismacolor ones, which I just did not have a good experience with at all because I just wasn't able to get a good lay down. What happened was I would just get these horrible pencil lines underneath that would not come out even when I applied water. They didn't really blend extremely well. There was a lot of granulation that just didn't really work. I don't really know what was wrong with the set that I had, if maybe they've improved by now, but all the other student quality sets that I've tried have never been extremely enjoyable and watercolor pencil sadly might be one of those mediums that you have to invest maybe in a higher quality set and just get less colors which is okay because you can always blend with watercolor of course um, but I never liked in fact I strongly disliked using watercolor pencil until I tried out this set and I'm sure other artist quality sets are great as well. Um, so I do recommend if you don't like watercolor pencil but you've only tried the student grade sets or maybe the Prismacolor ones or other sets that have disappointed you, I would definitely suggest trying these or other artist grade sets out because it is a world of difference. That being said though, if anyone has a good experience with a student grade or a cheaper um, set, let me know which brand that was and everything in the comments below. Of course, it's just my personal experience has never been good with other sets that I've tried. So I'm glad I gave these ones a try because I really, really enjoy using them and they're nice and smooth and you really get that watercolor effect once you're able to apply the water and you don't have to scrub or anything in order to get rid of the pencil lines, which is a great benefit. Guys, I feel like I'm talking a lot at this point. Um, I'm taking up the entire video with the voiceover, but let me know if you prefer more music with uh, in the background of me creating artwork or if you prefer more voiceover or just a mixture of both. I never really know what to do. I just feel like I'm talking a lot about random things that I seem to go off about. Um, I just don't want people to get too bored while watching me create artwork. Um, but if you enjoy just listening to music or whatever your preferences are, just let me know in the comments. For this style video, of course, it's a little different if I'm creating a tutorial or a review style video where I definitely would be talking the whole time, but this is kind of more casual, laid back. I don't really know what type of video you would call this. It's a little bit of fun. There's some information in there, some opinions, just things like that. Part of the reason that I'm probably so talkative in these voiceovers is because I typically record them after I have my morning cup of coffee or tea, so I'm usually pretty caffeinated. And that probably does explain a lot now that I think about it, but I think I'm done talking for this particular video. I'm just finishing up with this piece now. I would like to hear your guys' opinions on watercolor pencils, different brands, whatever experience you might have had with them, and if you're interested in me creating more videos about them in the future, especially this year as I'm going to try and use them more often than, well, I don't want to say than I did last year because I used them not at all last year, but I do want to use them more often this year and just get more acquainted with them and just feel like I'm using more of my supplies. That's one of my goals, as I said, for the year. So if you've never tried watercolor pencils before, let me know if you ever want to try them. And if you have, let me know what brands you've tried and what your experiences were. And I think that's going to be it for this video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to let me know what you thought of this 
lotus painting if you would like to. And if I should call it a drawing or a painting, I'm not really sure. I'm just going to call it a painting at this point because that's just what it looks like in the end anyways. But thanks for watching as usual and I'll see you next time. Bye guys. <clears throat> oh my god, I don't have any voice left after this.